Hey, you guys, so we're just going to do a little business chat, a little encouragement, a little information, so stay tuned. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, stay tuned. Hey, you guys, so I haven't really talked a lot about Isaac and Co. on the channel, but we're just going to do a little Isaac and Co. business rant, I guess. Um, so I have a consultation coming up. Um, and I do a couple of types of consultations. Um, Isaac and Co is an instructional design firm as well as education consultant. Um, consult with people who want to create some type of course or some type of online um, learning needs. So, because that's what I do as an instructional designer during the day. And I do it um, after afterward. But I also have um, my teacher to IDs, uh, which um, are teachers wanting to get into an instructional design. And so I have consultations for that. Um, like they can ask me whatever questions. They also um, can get their work uh, like reviewed. Because one of my biggest things that I suggest to um, people looking to go into the instructional design or more so the learning and development industry is to have a professional portfolio showing your work, showing uh, your graphic skills, your curriculum building skills, your course design skills. So some people might want help on that or ask a question or, you know, just resume tips, interviewing tips, or just, you know, whatever. So those are my favorites um, because... Life has been great since I left teaching, and that's just what it is. Um, I used to kind of feel bad, but um, Big G-O-D said, no, help others. Help others to get to where you are, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So it feels really, really good to have um, teachers just that I inspire them, um, give them hope because I know it, it was real. Like I was a classroom teacher for nine years and it was real, real, real. I taught at some of the elite schools and not so elite. And yeah, it was real. But on the other side, like y'all, y'all see my day in the life. Like I really, really, really love my job. I really do. And more so I love the flexibility because don't get me wrong. Now there are times when I'm like, oh, I don't feel like uh, doing these edits in Camtasia, but that's only a small part of my job. I don't have to edit videos every single day. Like right now, I think I'm on the up and up because I'm not editing. Like I'm in the beginning stages of a project, but in the next two weeks, two, three weeks, just kind of depends on how things flow. I'm going to be like, mm. So yeah, um, every career has their ups and downs. Um, so let's talk about business. So I will have been oh, been in business for a year. I just looked at the calendar. It'll be a year tomorrow. So um, I'm super duper proud of myself. Um, by any means, it wasn't easy. It ain't easy. I act like I'm up here. But I'm very, 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 very proud of my growth and my perseverance. So if anybody is a small business owner, or want to get started in a business, do it. Just do it. Like, just keep going. Like, that, I really think, is the the hack to running a business and being successful is showing up every single day. Every single day. Like, now, I'm in the routine that I clock in for Isaac & Co. First thing in the morning. Like, I work on Isaac & Co. before I go to my job. And granted, I have that capability because... I work from home, so if I don't have to a meet until 9, 10, I mean, we typically wake up 7. That's a whole hour, hour and a half to really, like, get some stuff done. And honestly, it doesn't take that much in the beginning stages to run your business if you have your things together, okay? So, I'm glad that I did. And when I say things together, um... In the beginning, business was very, very slow. And when I say slow, I created my business last March. And um, I'm just now um, beginning to 
get some consistent flow. Um, and it's been a year and I've been working on it constantly for a year. It's just been different stages. Like I created a, a couple of courses. I had to actually make them, edit them. Um, I had to do work. So that was work on itself, creating my product. Um, I, I offered consultations. So I still had to, um, you know, research and be on my A game for that and be prepared. But honestly, um, and then what I had to learn was sales and marketing. Like, that's just what it is. That's what you need in a business. That's what makes your business run. That's what makes a business business. And I have no knowledge in that at all. Um, so my husband is an amazing um, marketer. So um, shout out to Bay. But he's an amazing, he's an amazing marketer. So since he's been my uh, marketing manager, um, I've definitely started to see growth. Now, um, I definitely felt like giving up a lot, but like for real, for real, I felt like giving up, like when I launched my course and it just, what it, it was what it was. Um, but I took a break. I had to regroup and then I tried to do too much and I got overwhelmed and so I think now I'm finding a happy medium, but I think really the key to finding the happy medium and to be able to show up consistently is being confident. My confidence in my business and my products and services is here now. Before I was just like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, is this good? Yeah, it is good. I need to be confident in who I am. And so now I have the confidence like, no, my products and services really will help people, really will change people's lives. So I have to instill that in my brain almost every single day um, because uh, imposter syndrome will get a hold of you and you want to give up or you slack off or you think nobody's watching when really they're right around the corner. Um, so yeah, that is my my words uh, of advice for small business owners. Um, one is to keep showing up, be consistent and be confident. That's all one bullet. Show up consistent and confident. That maybe can be three, but really consistency is key. And you have to find what's your consistency. Your consistency may not be every day, but it may be every week. Um, every week is kind of pushing it, but the more you do something, the better you get at it. And I don't know why I never thought that was real with business, but I'm learning. Every day I work on it, every day I learn something new, every day I get better. Now, the other part, you know, besides just showing up, being consistent and being confident, which anybody can do, the second part is actually having your business structured as a business. And what I mean by that, of course, registering your business with your secretary of state, whether you're an LLC, sole prop, corporation. Um, but there are some other things to go along with that. Um, I do always suggest, and I do small business consulting too, but I do always suggest to get a business phone number, to get a business address, to get a business email, and to get a website at the minimum, and also a business bank account at the minimum, at the minimum. And your, well, you need an EIN to get your bank account, but you need a LLC, business phone number, business address, a business email, a business bank account at the minimum. And all of those things are very, very, very easy to attain. Um, I, I have a, um, a ebook explaining how to do all those things for, you know, someone who doesn't know how to do it. But it's very simple, very, very, very simple. And I think if you have all those things in place and your business pop off, you're not going to have to backtrack and be like, oh, how can I say payments? Oh, uh, I don't want them calling my personal phone. Oh, I don't want people showing up at my house. Because if you do put your home address um, on your um, registration for your business, that is public information. So anyone can look that up and they'll see your address. A lot of people don't know that, but it is. So that is why it is suggested to get 
a business address. And I don't think in my state of South Carolina, you can't use a PO box. I don't think. Um, it has to be a business address. So I actually um, pay monthly for a business address downtown in my city. And all of my business mail goes there. So um, yeah, it's, it's really great to have. And, you know, just imagine, you know, when your business blow up, everything is documented. You're ready to go. You're ready to make those thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So I always suggest people to make sure you have a business structure. Um, I think that's it. I'm about to get ready for my client and do some other back office work. But I just wanted to come on and do just a chit chat business talk um because i haven't really talked about business yet and i'm very very passionate about it so stay tuned for more of these business talks 